Hello, my name is Peter Leroy Munoz, Senior Vice President of Tech and Innovation Policy with the Silicon Valley Leadership Group. Autonomous vehicles are poised to be a critical element of America's innovation economy. They have the potential to increase passenger and pedestrian safety, improve traffic circulation, and most importantly right now, accelerate the delivery of critical supply chain items. We're here today in Mountain View to meet with Aurora, a cutting edge company working to make autonomous vehicle trucking a reality. Aurora is a public company building autonomous vehicle technology based here in California, but with 1,600 plus employees throughout the country. Our goal is simple, make our roads safer and make our economy more efficient. How good of a driver am I on a scale from one to 10? If you ask my wife, maybe about an eight. I'm Mufaddal Izzi. I'm Senior Director of State and Local Government Relations and Public Affairs at Aurora. Aurora is founded by early innovators in self-driving tech. Chris Urmson, Sterling Anderson, and Drew Bagnell. Their work at Google, Tesla, and Uber really serves as the foundation of today's self-driving technology industry. Aurora is driving two main areas. One, ride-hailing passenger mobility. There, we're working with Toyota to develop self-driving Siennas for the ride-hailing market. But our other key area, crucial to the market today, is in the area of autonomous freight movement. We're working with a network of partners, including Packard, the parent company for Peterbilt and Kenworth trucks, Volvo, US Express, FedEx, and Uber Freight. We're working to develop the best ways to integrate autonomous vehicle technology into America's supply chain at scale. But just as we've done through every step of the process, it's about rolling this technology out safely. Aurora is working closely with policymakers to pair safety and innovation for smart, responsible autonomous vehicle development, just as we've done in our pilot programs in Texas, the state with the most miles of public roads in the country. Hey, I've been a driving truck for the past four decades. Basically, I've driven well over two million miles in my lifetime. I'm an autonomous truck operations specialist. I actually go out and test the truck at testing locations safely pilot it there and we help advance the software and the hardware on the vehicle. I love working with Aurora. I see this as a trucking evolution, uh, the wave of the future, and I'm proud to be a part of it. As a driver, I would say I am above average, slightly. <laughs> My name is Billy Barone. I am a vehicle operations site manager for our Mountain View location out in California. I love what I do because it allows me to connect the people that we have here with the vehicles that we have here, plus the technology. Right now, Aurora vehicles are already on the road. These Aurora powered autonomous semis, they're currently hauling commercial loads, all in Texas for our freight and logistics partners. Our Aurora self-driving trucks are running day and also night because our rigs don't have the same hours of service limitations as human drivers. Every time one of our Aurora-powered vehicles learns something, like a new capability, they all get smarter. This advances self-driving technology in a way that would be impossible if it was just an on-road fleet. I work in operations, and how well do I know directions? Ugh. I know landmarks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brandis Moore. I'm a senior instructor in the Vehicle Operations Department. What delivers on Aurora's mission of safe autonomous freight, it's our Aurora driver. It's a combination of advanced sensors, AI software, and data services. It's custom built, cutting edge technology that prioritizes safety. It's what enables Aurora vehicles to safely and efficiently move throughout the world. Aurora's virtual testing suite allows us to run millions of self-driving simulations every day. It can simulate the equivalent of over 50,000 trucks on the road at once. And they're all accurate to the real world. Let me give you an example of one thing that's a tough maneuver for any trucker, an unprotected left-hand turn. How many unprotected left turns have I done in a big rig in my career? I've been driving since I was 16 years old. I would have to say thousands. The Aurora driver performed over 2 million unprotected left turns in simulation before even attempting one in the real world. 
When it comes to America's supply chain, there's a numbers problem. Today, in the United States, there's a shortage of 80,000 truck drivers. In the next six years, that shortage will likely grow by another 100,000, which means our current supply chain issue could get a lot worse. Our rigs have been maintaining a 100% on-time rating, which goes a long way toward filling gaps in the supply chain. One of our big goals is to start rolling right here in California. It's our home, but it's also home to some of the biggest crunches in America's supply chain right now. And we know we can make a difference. We're working with lawmakers and regulators to find the best route forward. In order for California to lead on transportation, we need to get autonomous vehicle trucks on Golden State highways and roads. We need regulators to initiate a rulemaking process for California's autonomous vehicle trucks. This is important not just for infrastructure issues for tomorrow, but to address the critical needs of supply chain here today. Golden State Technology is ready to blaze the next trail. It's time for us to put innovation back in the driver's seat.